Now, the British actor Ed Screen has pulled out of a Hollywood movie after he was cast as a character of Asian heritage, attracting some heavy criticism. The initial casting of the Deadpool star prompted accusations of so-called whitewashing. Mr. Screen said he wasn't aware of the character's mixed Asian heritage when he accepted the role for the comic book adaptation of Hellboy. Well, joining me now to discuss this is Nancy Yen, a professor of sociology at Biola University in California. Uh, Nancy, thanks for joining us. Um, I just want to get your thoughts about how significant you think this uh, pullout by Ed Screen is, given that you know we've had this Oscars controversy a couple of years ago and Moonlight's won the Oscar. Um, haven't we gone beyond this? Well, apparently we haven't because whitewashing is still endemic to the industry. We just had Tilda Swinton in Doctor Strange and Scarlett Johansson in Ghost in the Shell. And I think it's really significant that Ed Screen, who is not as well known of an actor as these other actors, uh, has courageously gone about, uh, you know, declining this role after finding out that it should be cast, you know, as a Japanese American actor. Indeed, yeah, many people saying it could be, uh, you know, likened to career suicide at this stage, but obviously he's had lots of support already, uh, especially on social media. What's your take on this? How do you think that this, we've got to this point where there just aren't the right actors being cast in the right roles? Well, there's been a lot of like, um, excuses in terms of, well, you know, the actors of color aren't at the star power, and therefore, financially, it's better to cast well-known white actors. But here's Ed Screen, who is not that well-known, and there have been actors who don't necessarily carry that star power in terms of, um, you know, being cast in these characters of color. And I think that that's why um, it's it's so significant that he has he has taken this, this step towards uh, remedying this. Yeah, and I just uh, thinking about that recent movie with Matt Damon, The Great Wall, where he plays, you know, uh, a role which you would have thought would be played by, you know, a, a, an actor of Asian heritage. Um, that sort of is a huge example of what we're talking about here, isn't it? And I mean, as countries like China get into the movie business even more and invest in big studio budget movies, aren't we naturally just going to see more, you know, sort of faces from these parts of the world? I think the, the issue is that Hollywood still isn't there yet. They're really risk adverse, and so they want to cast what has worked before, and I think that they're they're hesitant to, to cast Asian American actors in starring roles, but it's part of the problem is that they're not recognizing that there are demographic changes and that people are growing up in more diverse worlds. And so they're, they want to see people on screen that are like themselves or like their friends. And, and Hollywood is just not there yet in terms of film. In television, it's a little bit better. Nancy, thanks very much for the moment for getting your thoughts. That's Nancy Yen from the Biola University in California. It'll be interesting to see who they cast in that role for Hellboy.